Hello, I am Corey, the owner of Walk and Fly. Come and travel and eat with me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Corey, and I am the owner of Fork and Fly, which is my travel agency. It's all about food and travel. Before we get started, if you are new to my YouTube channel, click the subscribe button. And if you are returning, thank you, welcome back. Let's get started. So obviously, you clicked on this video because you saw the title. You wanna know how to hack the new CDC requirements for international travel. It was established January 26, 2021, right? Stay tuned because I got some information for you. It's basically a loophole. With everything going on with COVID, this pandemic, make sure you take the time before you travel to learn what you need to know to travel outside of the United States and to be able to travel back into the United States. So one of the requirements that the CDC and the government stated was now in order to get back into the U.S. from international travel, you have to take a COVID test that shows that you are negative within three days of your return into the United States. If not, you might be denied entry into the United States. That's a requirement for all international travel. So I'm gonna let you know how to hack that requirement basically like a loophole you want to hear what it is thumbs up if you want to hear what it is some destinations like jamaica you need to take a covid test and show that it is negative before you enter into jamaica some such as mexico you don't have to take a test but if you do go to mexico say cancun tulum you have to get back home right so that's why the CDC is saying we have to take test polls negative because we want to cut this pandemic. So the way that I found out how to hack it is, you ready? You ready? You ready? Go on a short weekend trip. It doesn't have to be the weekend. Go on a short three day trip. So this is how you do it because they are requiring you to get a test that is three days or less before you return. So if you do a three day travel, or two, let's say two day travel, two nights. If you do that, you take a test in the States before you leave, and that same test you can show to get back into the United States because it's still three days or less. Ah! Did you get that? Did you get that? I'm actually read it so you can understand it clearer. On cdc.gov, one of the questions are, do I still need to test if my trip is shorter than three days? Yes, you will need a test if your trip is shorter than three days. Arrival tests done in the US can be used to fulfill the requirements of the order as long as the specimen was taken no more than three days before your return flight departures. So that's what I'm saying. Do a two night travel to Jamaica, Mexico, any of the countries that are open. Do that, have your test in hand, and now you can travel with that one test and get back into the United States without having to find a resort or a place in the country that you're at and have to possibly pay for the test. Also, it says if your return travel is delayed longer than three days after you test, you will need to be retested before your flight. So hopefully everything goes well while you're in the country sipping on some nice cold drinks by the beach and you don't have to be retested in that country. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned to the next video that I have. Thank you for watching.